Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find the length of the hypotenuse using the Pythagorean theorem, and we're going to be working with decimal side lengths. Now remember, we use the equation a squared plus b squared equals c squared, with a and b being the legs, it doesn't matter which leg is a and which leg is b, and then c is always the hypotenuse. If we know the lengths of two sides of a right triangle, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of the third side. Let's jump into our example where we have a right triangle and the lengths of the legs are given. So we need to find the length of the hypotenuse. Let's call this leg A and this leg B. And then the hypotenuse is always C. So we are going to use A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Now we can plug in what we are given and work through this equation in order to figure out the length of the hypotenuse. A is six and seven tenths feet, so let's plug that in. So six and seven tenths squared plus B is 15 and two tenths feet. So let's plug that in. So 15 and two tenths squared equals c squared. Now we just continue to work through that equation until we figure out what c equals. 6 and 7 tenths squared gives us 44 and 89 hundredths plus 15 and 2 tenths squared gives us 231 and 4 hundredths equals c squared. Now we can add what's on the left side of the equation. So 44 and 89 hundredths plus 231 and 4 hundredths. That gives us 275 and 93 hundredths equals c squared. Now we need to isolate c and figure out what c equals. Since c is being squared, we can isolate c by taking the square root of c squared. So the square root of c squared. Whatever we do to one side of the equation, we must do to the other. So we need the square root of 275 and 93 hundredths as well. c is now isolated, so we have c equals, and then as far as the square root of 275 and 93 hundredths, that is not a perfect square. So we don't end up with a whole number answer. So C equals the square root of 275 and 93 hundredths. Now we can write that square root as an approximate rounded decimal. The square root of 275 and 93 hundredths is irrational. The decimal never stops and it doesn't repeat. So again, let's round it. Since the side lengths of the right triangle go to the tenths place, let's round this decimal to the tenths place. So the square root of 275 and 93 hundredths is 16.61 and this continues on. So I wrote it to the hundredths place, that way we can round it to the tenths place. There's a six in the tenths place with a one to the right in the hundredths. So this rounds to, or is approximately, 16 and six tenths. So that means that C, and I will put C first here, so C is approximately 16 and six tenths, and this is feet. The hypotenuse, the unknown or missing side length of this right triangle is approximately 16 and six tenths feet. So there you have it. There's how to use the Pythagorean theorem in order to find an unknown or missing side length. And specifically in this example, we needed to find the length of the hypotenuse. 
I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.